Okay then, hello, it is me, Record! And Fluffy Dinosaur. And we made this Minecraft world, so that way we can make an analogy to this to this world that we have built. To a regular eukaryotic cell. We will go over each and every one of the buildings you see here, and explain how they are similar to cells in the real world. Dun, dun. Duh. Rackard here is the nucleus because he controls all the things. Yes, I control everything in the cell. Nothing in this world records without my consent. And if you do not follow my rules, you will get kicked. Do not make me kick you. Do not make me get over here. I'll kick you. I will, I will kick you. I will kick you from the server. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get in a hole then. Yeah, actually no, I need you to help me explain what the hovel is. Okay. Okay, you see, the hovel is my nuclear membrane. In the event that our outer perimeter defenses fail, I can always retreat into my home to protect me from creatures of the night. This is my warm bed, and everything else I use to live in this world. Okay then, now what we use as our nucleotides is our crafting table, because we use our crafting table to craft all sorts of things. For instance, oh. I'm, I would, I'm going to craft a useless diamond pickaxe. Oh wait, I already have one. Oh whatever, I'll, I'll craft another one. Now you see, this may not make much sense because nucleotides are supposed to help synthesize ribosomes, which help synthesize protein. Now in Minecraft, here, take it away, Tom. There's no proteins, so we use the minerals. Yes, because you see, minerals are like proteins because they do everything in Minecraft. Without these minerals, you can accomplish absolutely nothing. In order to get anywhere in Minecraft, you need these minerals. Aw, oh, darn, I cannot use my... Cannot use my golden pickaxe on that. It's too good. Yeah, it's too good. Now, you see, this, what here, here, is a free ribosome, because, you see, in random parts of the Minecraft world, it will spawn some surface minerals. Now, it will only spawn, um, small amounts of either iron or coal. Coal is more common than iron, but you can also find iron. In, in random places. This happens to be one of the places where we found a random spawn. Now, the reason why this is a free ribosome is because, frankly, it spawns such a, lo a, a small quantity of iron and coal, which aren't the most useful minerals, but they are very important. So, frankly, you're not going to be going around giving them to other players or sharing them with the NPC that spawn in NPC villages in this world. Now, this is our Ruffiar where our other ribosomes go to help produce protein. Now, like I said, you can't actually produce protein. You can only find minerals, which is what we compared to protein. Because, like I said, protein does everything, and so do the minerals. Now, once, what, once we go down this very long, long ladder, we will learn why I've made this analogy. Okay, look at all these minerals. Look at all the useful minerals. Look, there's redstone. There is coal. There's more redstone. There's gold. There's more redstone. Uh, look, there's lapis lazuli. Look at all these useful things. Except for those useless diamonds. Diamonds do nothing. You know, seriously, look at all these useless diamonds. What am I, what am I gonna do with all these diamonds? Make diamond gear? Nah. Yeah. Diamond gear is useless. Yeah. Like, this wall of gold's gonna be useful, yeah. Yeah. A wall of you gold. See, we, 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 you know, the, the, cause you see, the rough ER is supposed to produce all of the proteins that go outside the cell. You know, you see all these minerals? We don't need all these. This is way too much for two people. You know, so we take these minerals and we go out, you know, we give them to other players that may join our server, but so far no other players join our server because no one likes us. Aww. <laughs> Now, but you may also be asking yourself, since a rough ER produces <coughs> um, proteins, how is this like a rough ER? Well, you see, we can always expand one of these walls, such as this wall right here, and find more stuff. Look, more gold. Look out! Look how useful this gold is gonna be. Can't wait to use this. Make more diamond and uh, gold gear. Gold is so. Diamond gear is useless. Yeah, look at all that diamond. I'm not gonna pick that up. It's useless. Look at that gold. Look yeah, at yeah, this look, gold. yeah, look at that gold. That gold's so gold under here. Yeah, there's probably lots of gold under there. Get that gold. Get it. Yeah, go. Aw, <gasps> oh, he fell out of the world. 
he died. Oh no, there was no use. There was no gold on there. It was just diamonds. Bleh, useless. <laughs> you blasted idiot! Get out of the water and lava. Get out of the lava now! You're gonna die. Yeah. Okay then. This is our phospholipid generator. The reason why it's like phospholipid is because essentially what our what our <clears throat> what our membrane is made of is stone. And our, and what is it? So here is a cobblestone generator which we use to make cobblestone. Now what happens is we remove the cobblestone, the water hits the lava, and makes more cobblestone. Like this. Yeah, just try not to die. <laughs> yeah. Don't die. Once we get all the minerals from dem mine shafts, we ride this little rail cart to the Golgi body. And we store all the things in the Golgi body. These chests are like the storage units where we take like take this extremely useful lapis lazuli and we put it in there. And they take the gold too. Not the minecart. The minecart's not a the minecart's not a mineral, silly. It's made of minerals. It's not a mineral though. Okay then, now this is our smoothie yard, or our Le Brewing Station, if you can read it from up there. Here, um... Now, the smoothie R in an actual cell, creates things such as cholesterol, steroids, and hormones, and detoxifies drugs and toxins. Now, in Minecraft, you don't really need steroids or hormones or anything like that, so we have come up with an alternative. Where'd you come from? Oh my god! Ah! Ah! We use potions because you know they do the same thing. They give us powers, kind of. We can we can take a it's helpful stuff. We can take a potion to depoison ourselves. We can use it to make ourselves faster. We could do it to make do almost anything. We could do everything. Do all the things. Yes. Here, let me pull one out. Let's see. Potion of invisibility. Potion of harming. We could use it to harm any sub harmful things that come into the cell. Potion of poison. We could poison anything that comes in the cell, which is kind of ironic. We could instantly damage anything that comes in our cell, or etc. Or we could do everything. We could even have night. Everything. We could even have night vision that helps us see better inside our cell. Here, let me use it so you can see better because it's night. Look, see how useful that is. I, I could use that to, so that way I can more efficiently operate this area at night. You see how useful that is? It does. It, it's really useful for our cell. And okay then, whenever we need a uh, glucose, ah, jeez, stupid selective permeability. Whenever we need glucose for our cell, we go out of the cell and find and essentially animals like pigs, and we go kill them for their meat. And we take them. Oh darn! I broke my butter sword. I can't. I can't kill. Them. More pigs to get there. <laughs> get <out> the <laughs> Dang, that is selectively permeable. Okay, then. So darn, I broke my butter. Yeah, there's, a, there's a pig in here too. Really? Kill a pig. Okay. Right. Kill, kill the invader. Yeah. Thanks. Okay then. So darn, I broke my butter sword. Now I can't defend myself from Paula Dean. Oh well. I guess we'll just take the the glucose or the pig meat we got from the pigs and bring it to the mitochondria, which we entitled. Pizza hut. Pizza hut. So we go in and there's this wall of furnaces and then there's Jeff the Potato Man who manages our entire operation. Pizza hut, but he's only good at working with potatoes. Yeah. Why so so he manages the he manages the furnace wall and tell and tells us when our food's ready. So we go in and we put in the food and it changes this raw pork chop into wait for it. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, wait, where is it? Did you take it? <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, it makes cooked pork chop, which is able to be eaten by us, so it can nourish us. So that way we can continue operations of the cell. Hi, Tyler. This is the Centriolus, or the library. Now you see, the Centriolus and an actual cell provide cell with their structure during cell division. Now, in, the, in, in this setup we have here, we have a library, which we read one of these books, and it will tell us how to create a perfect replica of everything we have going on here. I'm going to climb to the top of our library so you can get a better look at what we have going on. Climb up the ladder. And look, we have little dispensers, which came from the mitochondria so we can eat food in the event we're hungry. Look, this one dispenses bread. Look, I got bread Cookie. and cookies! Look at all the deliciousness! The they... cake isn't a lie! Oh my gosh! 
And let's see, let's see all the structure we have going on over there. Aw, cake. So essentially, that's all the library books tell us. They tell us how to rebuild all of this. Now, as I've said before, the centralist and an actual cell physically provide structure, so what we do is we store all of our spare building materials in this really creepy basement in these chests. So whenever we need building materials, we take them and we use it to build stuff, like... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this creepy basement. Yeah, like this creepy basement. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, what is it? I'm gonna remove the ceiling and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it creepier. Well, I'm not the entire ceiling because that would take too long. I'm gonna part, remove part of it. Remove one block. Look, now if the entire ceiling was that, this would be ten times creepier, but that would take forever to do. So, next part. Just stand under it and look straight up at it. Yeah. It's a you are being, you are being creeped out. Let me out. Look what I made with the centrials. I Let made a, out. I made a prison for fluffy dinosaur. No. Yeah, you can come out now. Okay then. Now, now for the vacuoles. Now the vacuoles in an actual cell stores food, water, and waste. Now in Minecraft, you can actually have food and water. For instance, look at look food. Storing food, and I don't have water on me here. I'm gonna go collect some water, and I'm gonna go put it in there. Now, but first. It also, like I said, it also stores waste. Let's look in the waste chest. Oh, look at all those useless diamonds. I think we're gonna do with those things. Ah, whatever. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go throw them in the lava pit. Oh well. Okay then, the cytoplasm in an actual cell is a jelly-like substance in which all the organelles and everything is suspended in. But in Minecraft, it's the ground we built on. Yep. Everything, this entire ground we built on, provides structure for everything. Now this is our cell's lysosomes. Now lysosomes in an actual cell have digestive enzymes that rid the cell of dead or worn out cells by autopathy. Now what we have here is a cage full of creepers that blow up when agitated. We're going to use it to blow up that house over there. We also have some TNT, just in case the creepers don't get the job done. We're going to we're going to give you a demo right now. Let's see how many creepers you can let out. Okay, we got one creeper out. Let's see if we can get more out. Okay, got Where's got, that, got someone going. Uh, Ooh, I don't going, know. Eh. It's a creeper. Creeper frenzy. Creepers over here. Follow me. Oh darn! Blew up too soon. Oh well. Creeper. I'll just use the TNT. Follow. We'll no wait, no. I got one creeper. Got one creeper. It's a creeper. Okay, come in. Come here, creeper. Come here. No, ah, oh. no, oh, oh crap. No. <laughs> crap, <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Oh god, no. <laughs> ah, this is so bad. Oh darn, this wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> There's too no, many. Oh, oh, ah! Crap! Crap! No! Ah. Well, this is what the homes do. <laughs> no! No! Oh, no. Ah! They're blowing up everything! Look at all the TNT! Eh. Ah. Ah. No! Ah, come on! Come on! No, save me! No! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, this probably wasn't the best idea. Yeah. <laughs> good thing we have, good thing we have to do anything else. Hey, free ribosomes! No, mine! Eh, no, mine! I want it! Oh. Go! Oh, Save! We're, we're the cell membrane fighting for our lives! Yes, the cell <gasps> members! No! You died! No, the cell, the cell membrane is supposed to protect the cell of any invading forces, and that's exactly what we're doing now. We, uh. we have these windows which we use to shoot at any invading forces before they can get in here. And plus, you see the doors—they're not intelligent enough to use the doors because it has the buttons. And plus, the bat, the crappy timing that the doors have prevent anything, almost make it impossible for anything to follow in after you. But it's still hard. Uh. Save me. Ah, there's a witch. Get out of here, chicken. 
We're fighting for our lives. Go to the second floor. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. You have arrows in you. I don't care. I got hit by the Spider! witch. It made it up to the top. No, the spiders. No, the spiders made their way through. Our wall was not as good as we thought it was. We should have made more layers. No. You see, that's another analogy. Cell defenses aren't perfect. Things can get through. <laughs> okay, what just <laughs> what just happened was we were displaying our cell's defenses. Now, like like a cell wall is supposed to defend the cell of any incoming intruders, and we did our best, but of course, it wasn't perfect. Things got through. Now these doors, it's supposed to prevent um many things from coming through. It has you know, we use these buttons which have very annoying timing and they're very hard to get through, but anything that's determined enough will be able to get through. And plus things can hop through the windows, so it's not perfect. Now a cell also has transmembrane proteins that help things go through the cell, and I guess you can consider these doors the transmembrane proteins and stuff of, of that nature. And the windows, because the pigs can go through the windows. And plus the windows act as cell-to-cell -cell recognition also, because a player can look through it and see anything that may want to come to the to our cell and be like, hey, are you good to go through or not? Or there could just be like so much stuff there at once that it, that it ends up blowing up in our faces. Whichever works. Okay, now we were going to think of a way of how to include the end as part of a cell, because frankly the end is very interesting. But, honestly, there's absolutely no way that this actually has anything to do with the cell. And we would really be, excuse the terminology, but BSing to make it to compare this to anything in a cell. So instead, we'll show you gameplay footage of the end. Oh, the D!